In this video, we're going to explore the design and creation of some amazing electromechanical robotic flowers. Now, I have a friend who has a family business creating artificial flowers. Their flowers are so realistic and beautiful. When I saw these, I thought, we have to do some kind of collaboration. I'll supply some techno magic and you guys do your magic. And I'm sure what we create will be absolutely amazing. The design language I chose for this project is 3D printing and simple wire forms. I wanted to be able to prototype it quickly and easily without spending a lot of money, yet have a design that could translate into volume production if we found a customer for these beautiful things. The 3D printed parts can easily be transformed into injection molded plastic parts, and the wire forms of course are dirt cheap in quantity. I also wanted to include some lighting effects in these flowers. Not cheesy RGB overload lighting effects, but just super subtle, very smoothly dimmed accent lighting that just complements the elegant feeling of these flowers. The real challenge of this project was designing a mechanism that could fit inside of a flower head and deliver super smooth pedal motions. It also has to have a mechanical aesthetic that is somehow organic because there's no way that you can hide all of the mechanics of this thing. So if it doesn't have somewhat of a believable organic form, it just looks like crap. After several failed design attempts, I settled on this rack and pinion gear concept with a cable driven circular pinion gear that goes right in the center. This ends up looking very organic and can easily be decorated to conceal the mechanism even further. The real magic happens in the decoration process. You begin with an intimate knowledge of the anatomy of plants and flowers, and you interpret it using materials like silk, which gets cut, creased, folded, ironed, dyed, and manipulated into beautiful floral forms. You take other materials like wire, thread, string, beads, and a host of other unusual little materials to create the delicate internal features that really emulate the beauty of nature. We also explored the boundaries between the real and the unreal. For example, we tried creating some avatar-inspired leaf structures incorporating LED lighting. The drive system for the flowers needs to move the actuator rod about 12 millimeters from fully open to fully closed. It needs to be super smooth and totally controllable. So I opted to use the ubiquitous model airplane hobby servo as the actuator. I created a simple sheet metal bracket to hold the servo and mount the wiring and control rod to. In the future, I want to redesign it so that it's a very modular sort of plug and play concept that connects mechanically and electrically to the flower. So you can just swap the drives and flowers effortlessly. From a control perspective, the obvious thing to do is to make these things into DMX controllable fixtures. Then they're totally compatible with all the nice show control and lighting control systems that are already out there. They should seamlessly integrate into any kind of sound and light show you could imagine. The drive unit also needs some LED boost converter drivers so you can drive some high voltage strings of LEDs and control them really smoothly and elegantly. 
Well, I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, gently massage that algorithm so it knows how much you love me. Help me grow this channel. Thank you very much.